days I still can't believe that I was fortunate enough to be selected to study with Dr. Grandin. We knew it was a great story to tell, Temple's story. At the end of the movie they applauded. That's unknown for a, a test audience. You know, they're usually very cynical. When people have children and they say, well, maybe my child will go up to be President of the United States. Well, for us, we can say, well, maybe my child will grow up to be Temple Grandin. Those are the kinds of things I talk to the students about. I want them to get un to understand behavior is important. She's a hero, a guiding force, and a mentor. She's given people hope, direction, and clarity. She's a world-famous animal scientist, researcher, educator, and pioneer who has built her successful career over more than 20 years at Colorado State University. Bernie, uh, you're really, really great pioneer. You can't name anybody else in the world that does what she does. No, the combination of, of thought and practicality and dedication to the animals and relationship with the industry and so forth. Also, people want to help get me hired here. <laughs> well, we're now without a doubt. She earned a spot on Time Magazine's list of 100 most influential people in the world and never misses the opportunity to lead her one o'clock class on campus. She's revolutionized the mentality of my generation, younger generations coming into this, and I think it's that, that challenge that she leaves with those young people that, that really is probably her mark. An acclaimed international speaker and author of books that have been on the New York Times bestseller list, she encourages people like Betty Lehman. When my son was diagnosed in 1990, the very first book that I read was Temple's book. You know, you're so lost, you feel so helpless, and then you read about one person that learned to, to make the most out of everything in her life. It gives you hope. Thanks to Temple, Betty's son Eli works, volunteers, and at least once a month prepares dinner for his family and friends. She made a difference in the everyday lives of people living with autism. She took what her experiences were, she gave them to us. She wrote about them, she talked about them, she shared her life, and that became our beacon. She lives a very important life, and it's impacted me and thousands and thousands of people like me. Do you have any idea what your major might be? Science. Her early life is the focus of an award-winning HBO movie called Temple Grandin. The story captivated millions around the world. That's great. Lots of Danny's looking at you. So you can see all around that moving his head. Immediately I read the script and I thought, this is such an amazing story, you could not make this up. Uh, in fact, the film has had tremendous impact. Um, HBO alone has shown it like a hundred times. It's been screened for autism groups. Over 40 countries have, have shown the movie, so it's been seen by about 8 million people in the US and countless millions worldwide. So something about this movie, something about her story really reaches to people. And I think it's, you know, they look at it and they, they see this is not the story of someone unlike me, this is a story of someone like me that I can relate to. Maybe more extreme in some ways, but the humanity of Temple is really what comes across to people. Trust me, we know how different she is. Different, not less. I've made television movies, I've, I've made big feature films, you know, some of them costing over hundred million dollars, and I've made very tiny movies. Um, this is the one I'm proudest of, this movie. There is nothing like this. And if I did nothing else in my career, I would have done something really, really worth doing. Well, I'm actually working on a book right now, starting out on different kinds of minds. Because I'm a visual thinker, thinks in photorealistic visual thinking. The movie showed that absolutely, totally beautifully. Now, I used to think everybody with autism but is a visual thinker. From the time she was a child, Temple developed a special bond with animals, realizing that she shares some visual experiences and panic responses with herd animals. Animals saved her, she often says. In turn, she has vastly improved the lives of food animals with her insights into behavior and her innovations in humane livestock handling. What she calls logical thinking has been a revelation to food animal producers.
She was very instrumental in developing the animal handling guidelines for industry that over time became accepted and, and, and recognized as the, the industry bible for, for the handling of livestock, no, no matter what the species. I don't think anyone in the industry would consider a, a major design change uh, or, or improvement without consulting a temple. It's almost uncanny that she landed here at precisely the time when the stirrings on farm animal welfare were occurring across the world. It, it was very, very, very appropriate that her career developed the way it did at CSU. Do the times determine the people or do the people determine the times or is it both? She's a powerful argument for it being the person. The industry was, was evolving and, and moving ahead with, with more and more cognizance of, of animal welfare, but, but Temple really accelerated that. She gave us a focal point. Temple also improves the livestock industry by training a new generation of animal scientists. She's devoted to her students and to passing on what she's learned about food animal behavior and humane livestock handling. They know when they study with Temple Grandin, they're learning from someone who is the best in the world at what she does. A true living legend. Because the mistake that people make is they bend this way, way, way too sharp right here. If you bend that way, way, way too sharp, then the cattle can't see a place to go. Right. And then the, the handling systems that she's designed, I've been in multiple facilities myself and with Dr. Grandin and watched them working beautifully. What fascinates me is the calmness that the animals uh, exhibit while they're moving through these facilities. That alone makes all of her, her life's work worthwhile. In that instant, it's captured. Her students and what they learn are one of Dr. Grandin's most important legacies. Temple's success and her autism are intertwined. Autism allows Dr. Temple Grandin to think in pictures. The ability makes her visionary. If Temple had done nothing more with her life than just revolutionize the way that we treat animals in the, the meat processing in the industry, she would have had a triumphant life. But to be able to see beyond that, to look back at her own story and see what of that story she could tell to other people who were in a similar position to her. The lessons about the value of life and, and, and seeing always the things that you can do, not the things that you can't do. Look at my life, she seemed to be saying. You may be as autistic as, as I am, less autistic than, than, than I am, but you have a life and I had a life and I can teach you lessons about dealing with yourself that I've learned. That's what the HBO movie showed to people is that, you know, when you hear this word, you don't have to just think, uh-oh, you can also think Temple Grandin. So her story of success has translated into success for thousands and thousands and thousands of people, not just people with autism, but their parents as well. You get out in the real world, you get out of a job and things like that, they're not going to have multiple choice and stuff like that. Dr. Temple Grandin transforms her students, revolutionizes the livestock industry, and inspires countless people with her sheer will, intelligence, and extraordinary life story. When I was in college, She's certainly an unforgettable person. She puts her stamp on, on everything, and it comes from her in a very authentic way. The world really does need all kinds of minds, and with her rare and special vision, Temple Grandin has reshaped our perspective. Like so many around the globe, Colorado State University celebrates and pays tribute to her success, her dedication, and unique vision. I'm so thrilled that CSU is honoring her because she's been there for a very long time, being very successful and doing some wonderful things and teaching lots and lots of students, never once pointing to herself as having a disability. People not only know Temple, they also know Temple's at CSU. We're very lucky. She could be anywhere, but she's here with us. As a professor at Colorado State University, 
Temple Brandon has transformed the livestock industry and pioneered new ground in the humane and ethical treatment of livestock. Temple students benefit knowing they are learning from a world-renowned scholar and a true innovator who is also a role model and a remarkable human being. We're enormously proud that Temple Grandin has chosen to make Colorado State University her academic home.